online session. Today we are going to learn about arrangement of numbers in ascending and descending order. Okay. Before that, let me tell you what is the meaning of ascending order. Okay. So ascending order means arrangement of numbers from the smallest number to the biggest number is said to be ascending order. And descending order is also very easy. It is just opposite to ascending order. That is, descending order means arrangement of numbers from the biggest number to the smallest number is said to be descending order. Come on children, let's work out many exercises for the better understanding of ascending and descending order of the given numbers. Children, let's arrange these numbers in ascending order as well as in descending order. This number, all the numbers are 9, 5 and 7. And arrangement of numbers in small to big is very easy. Come on, let's do this. For that, we have to move 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 sequence. Okay? So, once you refer this, it is very easy for you to arrange the numbers in ascending as well as in descending order. Okay? So, where is number 5 here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 here. So, 5 could be the smallest number. So, let's write 5 here. Okay? Then comes to 5, 6 and 7. We have 7 also here. So, let us write 7 here because 7 is the next smallest number. Okay? Followed by 9 here. So, 9 could be the biggest number of this sequence. This way, we can arrange these numbers in ascending order. Similarly, we can arrange these numbers in descending order. As I said already, it is very easy. Ascending order and descending order are just opposite to each other. So, 5, 7, 9. 5 is the smallest and 9 is the greatest. So, let us write this in a reverse way. 9, then 7 and then 5. Very simple, isn't it? So, we are arranging these numbers in descending order as well. Children, let us arrange these numbers in ascending and descending order. Children, have you noticed one thing? Let's try. One stands here, we can come to know one thing of these numbers. So, let me write one sentence of these numbers. Yes, you can find out that they have common number in the 10th place. Okay, so you can see under the place value of number 10, we have 1. 1, 1, 1. So, all these numbers equals as the common place value on the 10th place. Okay. So, let us look for the numbers on the 1th place. Okay. So, we have 7, 3, 9 and 5. Okay. So, children, you could refer the, the number sequence and tell me which number will be the smallest number of the sequence. Yes, you are right. Number 13 is the smallest number of this sequence. So, let me write number 13. Okay? And tell me children, which number is the next smallest number of the sequence? Yes, we have 15 here. Look at this 5 and 15 could be the next smallest number of this sequence. After 15, children tell me, which number is the next smallest number after 15? Yes, we have 17 here. So, let me write 17. Okay. The last one could be 19. So, what, what I did? I referred the 10th place this first. Since the 10th place has a common number that is 1, I just referred the 1th place of given numbers. So, accordingly, I arranged these numbers. Okay. And the descending order is easy comparatively. So, let me write 19 here because 19 is the Biggest number of this sequence. Followed by 17, then 15, then 30. This is how we should arrange ascending and descending order of given numbers if they have a common numbers on the 10th place value. Okay? Let us arrange these numbers in ascending as well as in descending order. The numbers are 22, 16, 48 and 34. Okay, so what we have to do is look at the 10th digit, that is the highest digit of each numbers. Okay, so here we have 
have three here. Four, one and two. Okay. And children tell me, look at the sequence and tell me which is the smallest number among this in the tenth place. Yes, we have sixteen. That is the smallest number of the sequence. So let me write sixteen here. Okay. Look for the next number. Here we have two, four, three. Which number comes after one? Yes, two. So let us try twenty two here because that would be the next smallest number of the sequence. Okay. Then look for the next number. Yes, after two we have three. So let us try thirty four here. After three we have four in our sequence. So let us try forty eight here. I just repeat it.